Okay, I get many emails and comments from people teaching false doctrine all the time. And one of the main false doctrines that seems to permeate through my inbox is this weird teaching that um, Jesus is not God. He is only the Son of God and that's it. Now, I wish I could just sit down and just dispel all your false doctrine comment by comment. But I just simply don't have that time. I work a full-time job and right now work's really busy, it's really picking up and so I just don't have time. So instead what I'm going to do is prove conclusively in this video how without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus is in fact God. And I'm going to use three verses to prove this. I think that's sufficient enough. Turn if you would to Mark chapter 10 and I'll read from verse 17. The Bible says, And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. So here, the rich man runs to Jesus, falls down on his knees and asks um, a pretty reasonable question. You know, what must I do that I may inherit eternal life? But before Jesus addresses this point, he brings up another issue. He says, why callest thou me good? He's saying basically, why, why are you calling me good? Because there is none good but one, and that is God. So Jesus makes it clear that the only good person, or the only good one is God God is the only one that's good that's what Jesus says so I ask you now the question if there's only one person good and that's God I ask you the question is Jesus good or is Jesus not good well obviously he's good I mean, the Holy Spirit testifies of this, um, the whole Bible testifies of this, how Jesus was, the, was sinless, how Jesus was perfect. He was without blemish, he was without spot. Jesus obviously was good. And you can read from Genesis to Revelation, it will, it will testify of this over and over and over again. So, Jesus is good. I think everyone knows that whether they want to um, believe it or not, they know that Jesus is good. So, if Jesus is good, which we know he is, then he must be God. I mean, there is no other conclusion because there's only one good, because the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Meaning, all mankind has sinned. That's why there's only one good. And that's God. And so, if Jesus is good, then the only plausible, the only possible conclusion stemming from that is that is He is in fact good. Because there's only one good. And here's another illustration. Even salvation, yeah? Even when we believe on the Lord for salvation and we get saved by believing on his death, burial and resurrection, what he did for us on the cross and taking all our sins in his body, even that act, um, it's not even our righteousness that we are justified in any way, which is why it blows my mind that people can actually believe that keeping God's commandments, keeping the law of Moses somehow justifies them or somehow makes them think that um, you know this justifies them in the sight of God or they rely on this um, to know if they're saved or not and not on the finished work of Jesus Christ. It blows my mind that people can have this sort of um, ludicrous conclusion in their minds that keeping of the law can save them. Even our righteousness, even when we're saved, when we stand before God, it is not our righteousness that we are justified. It's because of the righteousness of Jesus Christ. 
when we stand before God, we are perfect because of what He did on the cross. See? So, even from that point of view, there is none good but one, that is God. Because even us, when we stand before God, it's not even our righteousness, it's Jesus Christ's righteousness in us that justifies us. So, coming back to the main point, is Jesus good? Yes, conclusively from all out the Bible, he's perfect. Then, he is God. I don't know how, how else to um, simply just prove to you that Jesus is God. I could go over rows and rows of scriptures, but Mark chapter 10 verse 17 and 18 proves it conclusively that Jesus is in fact good because there's only one good. And we know that Jesus is the only one good. Therefore, he is good. Simple, like salvation. <laughs>